what have we here? Let me just turn this to the side here so you guys could pick me up much better. There you go. All right. So, what's up, guys? It's been a while. It's Bob from You Know Where. And so today I decided to make a different video because there's only so much to eat out there. You understand? <laughs> you know, food doesn't come out every single day. Wish it did. You understand? But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my uh, some of the new records I got. Um, you may or may not be interested, but what the hell, right? So anyway, these are some of the uh, recent records. Got to get this out of here. This is a Nintendo Wii game, which uh, I haven't even opened yet, but I'm just going to put this to the side. Um, on the floor, actually. So yeah, so let's start it off here. Some of the records I got recently. Now, <laughs> don't laugh. I'm just showing you, you know, I love music. I've been loving music since I was growing up the 80s and 90s and uh, I have a web vast record collection um, freestyle music house music from the 80s and then from the 90s you know all kind of stuff right so let's get down to business all right so here is my recent finds that I just got I'm getting into country music now and uh, this is uh, uh, Priscilla block I believe yeah has some country music and I got this one recently um, you should look her up on YouTube she has some good singles <laughs> some good songs all right all right this here I got this is a um, actually it's a re-release white label uh, this is like a house music um, oh mysterious uh, mysterious girl what's it called let me see mysterious fantasy girl no uh, it's called Mysterious Girl by Pierre's Fantasy Club. All right, this was banging in the 80s in the clubs and uh, some good old Chicago house music. All right, all right, let's look at what's in the crate now. And we have some New Order. This is I don't know if you ever heard of New Order, but it's a band from the 80s. They did some really nice music and uh, have all their albums. Technique is my favorite, but this is a uh, a recent release. Um, and I bought it, but I don't know the name. Be a Rebel. The remixes right here. All right, let's go on. Move on to the next one here. This is uh, Chloe. I just bought it because the album was cool, actually. And it, the music is pretty good, actually. The music is pretty good as well, actually. Actually, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying actually for. So here we are. Arthur Baker, another well-known guy from the 80s uh, dance music scene. Um, him and Shep Pettibone, which is like, which is not like, but he was a remixer from, from the eighties. Um, this is their, uh, volume one and two. I got volume two, no volume one over there somewhere. I have to show it in the next video, which I'm going to show you on my new channel at the end of the video d dedicated to records. So I could just get this stuff out of the way. You understand? All right. So. This has some good songs here from uh, "If You Let Me Stay" by, uh, you know, the the, uh, the remixes by Shep Shep Pettibone. Uh, you know, you have uh, Lala Richie, George Benson, Instant Funk, blah blah blah. You can see some of the the artists there. You could pause that if you want. Many of these are unopened, okay? Because I don't have time to open them up. This is, uh, what's the name again? Bob Dylan. Um, another classic album. All right. This is Nirvana. I had it on CD when it first came out. Um, but I've since lost it a long time ago. So I got back into it. Uh, this is, um, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay. So it's a great album. Um, if you're into that, uh, What's that thing used to be called? Um, hold on a second. The uh, Seattle scene. Gra uh, the, you know, the plaid shirts. Uh, grunge rock. Yeah. So, yeah, let's continue. Okay, this one I bought for my significant other, actually. Um, this is uh, um, uh, Billy Aish. Not Billy Idol, but Billy Aish. The album from her. Um, Happier Than Ever. Okay. I'm just gonna put these to the side over here. Um, now this, don't laugh at all. 
But this was a limited edition release. Uh, Spice Girls Spice Album. Uh, this is in... Uh, <laughs> she's laughing over there. Pink Vinyl. All right, there's Baby Spice on the cover. And uh, has the regular Spice Album. It's just, uh, you know... All right. Rick Astley, my man. Rick Astley, yeah. Look at this guy. Rick Astley, this is a record store day release recently. It's on red. Uh, translucent, translucent vinyl. Um, he was big in the 80s. I have the 12-inch of Never, uh, Never Gonna Give You Up and Together Forever. The Lover's Leap remix is pretty cool. Yeah. I have that in my uh, garage in Queens. Um, here is a Christmas album by none other than Bing Crosby. Uh, this is the white version, white vinyl. Okay. You know, I love Christmas music. You know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, you know. All right. So here is uh, Erasure. Uh, this is their, one of their latest albums or I'm a big Erasure fan. Uh, I love Erasure. My three, uh, well, I think my my three biggest bands that I like the most are New Water, Erasure, and Pet Shop Boys. There you go. And this is the orange final of this. All right, neon. Psychedelic Furs. Okay, I love Psychedelic Furs. Uh, heart, uh, heartbreak beat. Um, this is the album Midnight to Midnight. Heartbreak beat is one of my favorite songs off this album. And another song that I like, I mean, they have some good songs, you know. Another good song I like is Until She Comes. All right. I don't get Dirty Mind off of that. It's just Until She Comes, you understand? <laughs> Not Until She Comes. Uh, but you have over there somewhere. I have to show it to you in my next video. All right. Uh, Fleet, Fleetwood Mac. Um, all of these albums are brand new. I haven't uh, opened them up yet. Rumors. Okay. And this is the back of it, actually, here. The back of it. See? Okay. All right. This is some reggae music um, from VP Records. This is Telephone Love by JC Lodge. Um, just your standard black vinyl. I opened up this one, though, but... Uh, yeah, this is a good song. You probably know it. All right. Now, I like Italo Disco very much. Okay. And this is the third collection, Italo Disco. Um, has like, uh, well, uh, Valerie Door, uh, The Fashion, uh, Wish Key, Radio Rama, Cyber People, Dr. Faustus. Yeah, double album there. Now, Electronic, which is a band from. Uh, uh, Manchester um, has what's his name on it uh, God, I'm getting old you know <laughs> Neil Tennant and Bernard Summer from the uh, New Order and Pet Shop Boys they collaborated with uh, the Smiths frontman um, what's his name what the hell is his name the, fr the, the guy from the Smiths uh, not Morrissey the other guy oh, I can't <laughs> just made me mad uh the guy who, who, who did uh, How Soon Is Now, you know, the, the guitar work. Um, Johnny Marr. There you go. Johnny Marr. Yep, I am getting old. Yeah. So, I'm not going to show you the sticker here because... Anyway, it's a record store they release. This is their remixes. Get Away With It. Which is a badass song. Okay, Getting Away With It. Okay. Um, get the Message. DNA Groove Mix. Um, disappointed, okay? Alright, so let's, let's go to the Queen. Okay, this is the Queen, man, the Queen. This is part two of their greatest hits. Alright. Double album there on blue vinyl. Alright. Um, this is, um, uh, West Coast hip-hop from, uh, Compton area. Compton, you know. Um, N.W.A., Okay. All right. So yeah, I listen to all kind of music, okay? I mean, you'd be surprised what I listen to. All right. It's Talk Talk on, uh, I don't know, Purple Vinyl. 
Uh, this is the It's My Life album. Um, it's My Life is a good song that was covered by uh, the girl in No Doubt. I forgot her name. But yeah. It's My Life. It's My Life. No, that's uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Album, I believe. Here is Kenny, Kenny G. This one came messed up. Right here. I got a crease. This is his latest album. Okay, it's a double album. 